So I'm an ant collector, and I collect ants. And I collect the ants in the most difficult, most inaccessible places on Earth. I worked through the Congo Basin. I worked in the Amazon Basin. And now I'm specializing on the remote areas of Madagascar. These areas don't have roads. They don't even have paths or even maps at time. Half of my job is actually just getting to the site. And once at the site, I can begin the science. But I have to figure out how to negotiate the mountains, the politics, the local villages, the language, the difficult roads. I have to figure out how to transport a car through a river and then get it out once it gets stuck. There's a funny story about that. I was picked up by the police so many times. But I had taken pictures of every single commander throughout every time I was picked up that I would show the next commander, hey, I know so-and-so. They're like, you know that person? Yeah, yeah, he's a buddy of mine. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> when I tell people what I do, the first response is, what? You risk your life to collect ants? And at the same time, when I talk about my work in Madagascar, they get interested in these faraway places. They become more engrossed in the fact that maybe, maybe there is a connection maybe between what we do on the one hand and the environment on the other.